Ma bête qui a pas bon. Yo, welcome to another episode of Raw Talk, aka Real Talk, BKA Just Being Honest. Man, and this is that episode two, part two of that three part series of sex. And just like I promised, I'm wrong a woman. My name is Denise. My friends and family um, know me as Frankie Harris. Education? No, 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 that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> this is my queen. This is my rib. And I'm nervous. Why? Because I usually do these by myself. We're together every day. I know, but we ain't on camera. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? We ain't on camera. So today we are, and I pretty much wanted to get your perspective as a woman about having multiple sex partners. And I want to clarify something. This is not multiple sex partners at one time. So this is not a, not like, having, jump off. yeah, <laughs> like, like having a big ass menage. This is like throughout the course of your teen years until you get with that person that you're going to be with. Right. How do you think that affects you as a woman? Um, and you got to be honest, girl. Shut up. <laughs> I would say that, um, first off being with a lot of people. I think that that affects your self-esteem as a woman. As a woman. Yeah, absolutely, as a woman. Um, will it, being promiscuous, will it affect your later relationships? Absolutely. Are you going to be able to stay with one man? If you stay stunted in what you have learned and you don't grow as a woman, and if you don't have anyone in your ear or if you don't open yourself up to um, self-development, in mm -hmm. any type of way, mm -hmm. uh, you know I'm big on mentors and coaches. Mm -hmm. If you don't bring mentors into your life or if you don't have coaching or if you don't have even just somebody in your life that is teaching you better, then you're not going to do better. Gonna, you're not gonna. So let's put it like this. If you don't open yourself up to grow as a person, then every relationship in your life is going to be affected. Mm -hmm. Is sex for men and women, women different? Absolutely. Sex for men and women is different. <laughs> yeah, and I'll say this. So, I was thinking... Like of, what? Like how? Like how? Because you can't... We, we are more physical. I would say men are attracted first to physicality. That's not always true. Shit. I'm talking about... No, I'm, I'm saying I'm it's not, about not for true men. for us. No. That's not not true for and us. See, I've, I, okay, you got to break that down to me because, and guys, you guys, again, that comment section, man, that comment section is a one because if I'm, I'm right now, I'm representing us. So it's, if you want to chime out, if you, I mean, if you want to add to or dispute what I'm saying, please comment. But this is what I'm saying. I'm saying that men are attracted first to the physical makeup of a woman. Now, later on, I might notice your eyes, or not might, I would notice your eyes, or the way you talk, but nine times out of ten, I'm looking at that ass first, <laughs> or I'm looking at them, them boobies first, whatever kind of man you are, and then you notice, man, she smells good, look at her hair, but I'm saying that men, men are very physical creatures, is what I'm saying, and I'm also saying that females I are more... What you're saying. Oh my God, I understand that females are also more emotional. It's an emotional connection. Is that right or wrong? Um, well, um, we, we are, we look at men and, and, well, we go off of what we see first. Like what? Like how you look, Negro. Okay. If you looking bum. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm not going to approach you or I, 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 I wouldn't have approached correct you. you. I, I just, I thought women was more, was more deeper than that. <laughs> no. Okay. Wait. So now you can be fine. You can be fine. Right. And I mean this in the past sense, babe. Okay. No. I'm, I'm grown. I'm not, <laughs> right. I'm grown. I'm but not you could be fine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. If I walk up on you or if you start a conversation with me or if we start a conversation and you dumb and you, as hell. Right. And you, you, you know or what I'm saying? Or your breath stinks. Absolutely. Okay. Now I'm <laughs> or, you saying, can't, or you can't hold a decent conversation with me. Yourself. Or I can't relate to you. Or you on some, some, some bullshit. Okay. And this is what I'm saying. I'm saying a guy, if he noticed 
that a girl got a fat ass and he walk up on her. And she could be dumb as a box of rocks. You know it's what? It's not going to matter. It's not. That's yeah. what, and that's where that's saying. But well, her it, ass is fat, but though. It, that's it, where that it, comes it from. It does. From my perspective, your, a woman's perspective. See, yeah, and any us, of my sisters, any of my queen sisters that, you know, I rock with, if they not going for that. You know I, what I'm I feel saying? like that's most women in general. They're going to be, so. they're going to well, be. Well, no, you know, that's, <laughs> in general, uh, in maybe, In general, yeah. a woman is going to be not no, as superficial not as a man. Why do you think you see these fat, sloppy men? Are not you? You ever see a couple that's like look at her and look at him? It's because that guy either has some money, right? Or that's shallow. Or that is shallow, but we know it's gold diggers. But that's not what we're talking about. Or that guy's offering that offering that woman something emotionally, and she's connecting with that. It could have to do with her self esteem. I see. This is why I needed a woman perspective. Because I, I never thought of that. Because I've had sisters before, and sometimes I just think, like, honestly, I think, well, his sex must be good or something. Because in the back of my mind, you know, and I may not say it initially, but I'm going to say it because I'm not, I mean, I'm an honest person. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I'm going to say, like, what the fuck? Like, what are you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing with him? Or why are you putting up with this? Or like, what is the deal? Or look at him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are beautiful. And then you got this Negro. You and know then what I'm sometimes saying? they say, but he listens to me. Or he holds me. I've never heard that before. That's some uh, bullshit. Well, see. Well, I needed a woman's perspective. That's you never heard bullshit. that. Okay. Yes, it is absolutely different. If a woman has a higher body count than a man, because you know, whoa, you know, whoa, you know, whoa, what? Yeah, it's absolutely different. It's different. Hell if a, yeah. if a woman has slept with more people than a man, it's different. I'm I'm not debating you. I'm just saying that's shocking to hear, because it's such a from double me? standard. No, 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 no. All the time you hear from women that I can do whatever men can do, and I yeah. always disagree with that. I hear. I, I disagree with that too. Well, because you're probably one of the first women that I've heard say that. That I can sleep with. Why, who you been talking to? A lot of women. A lot of women. Huh? A lot of women. You been talking to a lot of women? Yeah, I talk to a lot of women. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I'm interested in women. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, go ahead. They can sleep with men and not think nothing of it. Is it true? That is different? Like it's foul to have a high body count? No. Can you have sex with a man and not have an emotional attachment? No. To? You don't think so? Nope. That is Ooh. not true. That is not true. Anytime that you let somebody into your body, mm. Mm, anytime you let somebody, in, and it's different for y'all, because mm. y'all going in, we are receiving. Mm. So, it's always been my perspective that it should it should be sacred mm -hmm. it should be sacred because your body is your temple but there are a lot of women that don't feel that way even the older generation but you know quite frankly that's them whole ass aunties Ooh. seriously that's the whole everybody knows somebody everybody got one or two or three yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. and um one thing that was really heavy and prevalent in the generation before us and I know this from family members older family members was prostitution yeah prostitution so you know you can't be holding yourself and your body as a temple and feeling that it's a sacred thing if you out on the corner selling so it's going to that's going to take a toll on you as a woman absolutely your spirit spiritually first and foremost mm. I feel like because you are exchanging energy. You're exchanging energy I agree. with I that agree. person. Not to mention the the health aspect of it. If a man goes out and cheats, mm -hmm. is it just for is it is it just for the sake of cheating? I think that it depends on the man. If a woman goes out and is promiscuous, is it for emotional reason? Yeah. All the time. I think so. I don't know because I'm not a cheater. All right. I have always heard this, that if a man cheats, mm -hmm. the relationship is not over. It can be saved. But if a woman cheats, 
It's oh, over. yeah. Because your pride is hurt. It's over. A man's pride is hurt. No, not just <laughs> from your standpoint, from our standpoint. Because it takes a lot. It takes a lot for us to step out. I feel like for most women in general. So, oh, you see, know what I'm saying? If you throw your yeah. hands up, finally, and, and do she, that. that's fucking serious. So like, you, it's over in your mind. Okay. Okay. But we are, like, branching off and talking about a lot of different stuff. And we're supposed to be talking about sex. Well, let's sum it up. Okay. For me, and I'm still on... If you have multiple sex partners, if you are very extremely promiscuous, it's going to be hard for you to settle down. I think it's damaging. I think it's damaging because you can never, you can never be, you can never be satisfied. I am satisfied with my wife. If I was active with several different women, you, you, your hunger is insatiable. You can never be satisfied for, for, for men. Can I comment on that? Absolutely. I think that, and you know my motto, if you can change your mind, you can change your life. Because I absolutely agree that having multiple sex partners, especially over a long period of time, is damaging. It's damaging. It's damaging to your body. It's damaging to your spirit. Mm. It's damaging to your mental. And it can be damaging to your self-esteem depending on what you are conditioned to allow. Mm. You know what I mean? If that for, makes sense. It does. Yeah. For men and women. Not just for women. I, I I really want to abolish the double standard that men can be whores or men could go out and have a lot of women and be a player and a woman go out and do it. She's a whore or she's loose. It's damaging to both of us. To both sexes. It's damaging to both of us. It is. Yeah? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Man, this is Raw Talk, aka Real Talk, BKA Just Being Honest. I'm here with my queen, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Baby, you got something you want to say? That's it. That's it. You don't have sex. No, I don't want to. <laughs> See, I can't. <laughs> it didn't get. <laughs>